Hello everyone, here in this lesson we would like to talk about uh, what kind of the graph that we can draw for force and displacement in little bit different situations and what we will get if you draw the graph between the force and displacement. Here we would like to imagine three different cases. If the force is constant, what happens? If the force is increasing uniformly, what happens? And if the force is varying but in a little bit irregular way, what happens? What is going to be the different shapes of the graphs we would like to discuss here. Let us imagine the first graph. I am taking the displacement on x-axis and the force on y-axis. If suppose the force is constant as it is not a variable, the graph is going to be a straight line passing to the top of the uh, parallel to the top of the x-axis. Then let us try to calculate the area under the line, straight line, whatever it is. What is the area we can say being in a rectangular shape? We can write area as length into breadth. Length is varying from 0 to S, so the length is S to 0. The breadth is from 0 to F, therefore the value of the breadth is F minus 0. So the product is Fs, which is nothing but equal to work done. So from this entire discussion, it is clear that the area under a given curve for the force and displacement graph gives you the work done. Okay. Let us imagine another situation where force is not constant, but force is varying, increasing, say in a uniform way. Then we will get this kind of the graph. Then it is very clear that again the area under the graph gives you the work done as we have proved in the previous part. And area under this curve means there are two parts, area of the triangle and area of the rectangle. So we have written the work done as the sum of areas of the triangle and area of the work done. We know as per the geometry area of the triangle is half into base into height and area of the rectangle is nothing but equal to length into breadth. So let us substitute the values half base is from 0 to uh, sorry from S1 to S2 therefore S2 minus S1 height is from F1 to F2 therefore the value of the height is F2 minus F1. Similarly for the rectangle length is from S1 to S2 therefore length is S2 minus S1 breadth is from 0 to F1 therefore F1 minus 0 by multiplying these values we can get the work done. Let us imagine another situation the force is varying but not in an organized way like we have shown here but in a regular way just like this. Then again we can calculate the area of the work done in this case. How can I calculate the area of the work done by dividing this graph into some small segments and then further calculating the area of the each segment and adding area of all that segments together is going to give you the total work under the graph. This is graphically practically little bit difficult therefore we may not be getting an accurate answer therefore we prefer to do it with the help of a integration when the force is variable we prefer to write it as integral of f ds which is a much easy mathematical way to calculate the work done in this case.